this is a horizontal card slider. This slider might look simple, but when it's actually implemented in your website, it will create the impact. A horizontal slider can be achieved in many ways, but this video focuses on doing it as simple as possible without using JavaScript. Not only that, as this slider is simply scrollable, it works perfectly well on mobile, also allowing to swipe through the cards. I created a basic HTML file with some mandatory tags like head, title, body. Also styled the body by setting the width and height to 100%, removed the default margin and padding, and applied a background color. Also included some link tags for Google fonts and icons. Next step is to create the center element. This element is just for video purpose. Next step is create the slider element inside which all the cards are placed. Then create the cards element which acts as container for the cards. Then create a card inside which you can place the content. I created a basic content for the card. You can add the content as per your requirement. Next step is to style the center element by setting the width and height to 100% and aligning its children to the center using display flex as shown. Next step is to style the slider element by setting the width to 100% and height to fit content such that it is adjusted based on the cards and provide some padding at the top and bottom. Next step is to style the card element. I styled it by setting the width and height to 300 pixels background to white and using a simple box shadow and adjusted its child elements to the center using display flex, applied font family poppins, also provided a position relative, then style the title, then the subtitle, and finally the icon inside the card by setting position absolute to the bottom and right 10 pixels as shown. Once the card has been designed next we will add some more random cards to the slider. I have added some cards with random content in it as shown you can add as per your requirement. We can observe that all the cards are aligned below one another. To fix this we need to style the cards container element. Style the cards element by setting the width to fit content, which is the width gets adjusted based on the number of cards in the slider, and place the cards side by side using display flex. We can observe that there is no space between the cards, so we will add some margin to the card element. We can observe that a simple slider has already been formed. To make it more better, we will adjust the overflow property by setting it to auto for the slider element. Now we can observe that the scroll bar is only visible for the slider element. Next step is to style the scroll bar of slider element by adjusting the width, height and background, which will result in our desired horizontal card slider. If you find this tutorial useful, then subscribe to the channel.